Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a new video for Path of Exile 3.25 and in this video I'm going to talk about my gold strategy when you start doing maps. So I started maps today, you guys can see it didn't unlock that many maps, so just did tier 1s to tier 4s, but I still wanted to get a nice amount of gold and I found something that worked really well. So only 7 house it's going to cost, you make 20, I think even 30,000 gold every hour. And that's not so bad because we just started. So how do you get gold? Very simple, you need to kill a lot of enemies in a short time. The more enemies you kill in a certain time, the more money or gold that you will make. So that's something that we are going to work. So very fast clearing of packs is very important. And yesterday I had this drop and I started to think right away. So comes command, it's one C that you only pay or one alchemy. But what is so strong about it? First of all, nearby corpses explode when you war cry, dealing 5% of their life as physical damage. The required level is 66, that's perfect. Most of the people start doing maps on that moment. That makes it very strong. Explosions are always very good. But I needed to get more corpses. And what is good? Of course, corp corpse walker. I use this a lot when I did general cry. So it's going to uh, just drop corpses. You can see it. If I run around, you see the green. That are the corpses. So if I use now a cry, you will see it explode. That are the corpses. So that works really well. This is 4C and this is uh, 1C. So 5C. And all the other stuff is just my equipment from leveling. I will post my path of building under this video that you can, guys can check it out. But it's not really a build guide. This. What is very important too, blood rage for the frenzies. You go faster. And of course you need to have leap slam too that you can jump around. Get two quick silvers too. Everything that you can go quicker. Get uh, four... Uh, war cries, this is important, even the intimidating cry, why? Because the buff, buffs grant movement speed too. So you can get 80 movement speed if you want to use this. So fast and you need to kill packs really quick. So that's it a little bit, I'm an earth shatter. Uh, like I said, check the bow under this. Another thing that is very important, get uh, this to remove uh, ailments. Uh, Warcries have 10, pa 10 power, very strong now, later on you don't need that anymore, but at the moment you start right away with two buffs every time that you use a Warcry. And then uh, get life back. Another thing that is very important, just cap your resistance. And that's it, that's all. And then I'm going to show you guys really quick a map, how you need to play it, and you will see right away why it's so strong. Another thing, I worked a little bit on the Atlas too. What I see is Harbringer is really good, it gives more enemies and most of the time yellows too. I see that rares drop a little bit more gold. Another thing that I would take is strong boxes. So you can see I only spent around 14 points in my atlas but this I would take too. So strong boxes, if you open them you get a shitload of enemies, just take it, more enemies more gold. So I'm going to take now... Uh, open this map so a tier 3 just to show you guys how you need to do it it's very simple just jump from pack to pack get the molten shell up uh, and just use your war cries and everything will die really quick yellows can be a little bit problematic but you will see it so i'm going to start now so just do this and you will see right away why it's so good And this is a difficult enemy, but that's not a problem. Here we go. I'm going to open these two. I think it's okay. By the way, Val. Uh, Val is really good too, because you got a lot of, and I think my key is fucked up again. So I'm going to do really quick. Yeah, it's always the same. I'm not sure why they always getting my uh, my keybinds away. So the highlight is, is dropping. So let's have a look. And I always need to put it back on. So this is really good too. So don't ignore it because there are a lot of yellow dudes in this map. Uh, in the In the corrupted.
You can see that I'm still taking a lot of damage. That's because I still got shit gear on. But it's really cool if you hear like the the explosion go. Okay, is this a map too? That's really cool, yellow maps. Because I still need to do a lot of maps. So you guys can now see, now I'm getting in the zone. It was a little bit clunchy at the start, but you can now see, once that you get in the zone and start hitting one time and then you do a war cry, you see that it goes a lot quicker. So let's go to the boss and then I'm going to end the video. Here, Harpingers, so this is very important, I'm going to get my banner out. So therefore they are so good, they are just spawning and a lot of yellows too. So therefore I want to get them in the in my tree, that they always spawn. Let's go to the other side, and I just leveled I think, yes. And that was it guys, so that's how fast it goes, so a really quick tutorial, 20 to 30 thousand gold if you start doing the map, very cheap, and thanks for watching, have fun, bye bye.